All right, well, what's going on, boys? Um, <sighs> let's sip some water. Um, so my channel's dead. Uh, so, so let's talk about the new Beeman G update that came out recently. I gotta say, it's really good. I like it. The new fucking tire model, it's pretty cool. The Jungle Rock revamp, that shit is fire. The new, uh, I don't fucking know. Well, I'm gonna be honest, like, I know why you're here. The title is about the new pre-runner trophy truck. It's just trash, though. Like, that's the point of this video. It's not horrible, but I don't even know why I bother. This isn't fucking Among Us, dude. My channel is fucking dead, doggy. <laughs> uh, fucking Tortinos, Totinos, fucking Fortnite room, training, pizza roll. All right. So, uh, what, what's going on, Reddit? What, what's up? Uh, it's your boy. So, anyway, on the actual topic, you know, Cyberpunk 1914, you know, we got that fucking, uh, cranial surgery coming out, you know, I'm hyped for that update. <coughs> um, oh, fuck, alright, this video is about the new Beeman G truck. Uh, in Beeman G Drive, it kind of drives, like, 13 Reddit Karma instead of, like, 100, dude. You know, 100 pesos, you know what I'm saying? But exactly, it's fucking stinky garbage. The truck drives basically really loose and doesn't like to respond how it should, which doesn't surprise me because the crawler Jeep was like this when it first came out. It was loose at the back end. It was overall just a mess to drive, but gave it about a month. The devs wheeled out a new update and then the ball began to roll for the Jeep again. But what really fucking annoys me though is how brittle this 2,000 pound fucking trophy truck is it is a trophy truck it is going to bounce around on hard surfaces and bump into things and it's so soft it breaks if you fucking sneeze on it on a slight bump you're gonna be bumping so fucking much stuff it fucking disables the little fucker like why okay let me slow down because i'm now just ranting the best way to describe this truck is it drives a lot like um south sudan for my less educated viewers, um, look it up. <laughs> Another little thing I just never realized, this little nitpick before I get into the serious stuff, is it has in the first person cam, the first person sounds of like a car, which wouldn't be bad, if, but this is a open window trophy truck and it has like the soundproof insulation of a normal car, but I don't know, I guess I'm weird. I'm going to talk about what could be uh, improved now, so I'm going to get a bit more serious. I think the start is the tires make them a bit more squishy like the rock crawlers because it's evident it's possible with the engine. I don't know what else they'd have to do. I'm a developer. I'm assuming they could do a little patch or update or something like that and make the rear panels not completely ruin the wheels. So I'm going to talk about that. I'm going to go off on a little tangent for a second. Basically, if you even slightly damage the rear fenders, the truck's rear end basically become locked. Well, it'd be okay if it was one realistic, which isn't, for example, in the Baja 1000. In real life, truck panels get destroyed constantly, but because it's not connected to the frame, which makes no sense on why they would do that from a developer standpoint, since their game is all about realism, it breaks. And so you may as well just stick to soft dirt and back roads. I know the footage looks pretty nice, but this is some of the better footage I have of the truck in use, and this also includes the extended cab, which honestly has the same issues. Just longer frame, so basically in a simpler term, it just kind of gets harder to move in hill climbs or rock climbing, which it's not really made for, which is okay. <clears throat> And it's okay at lower power, but the torque fucking boner for some reason this truck has isn't realistic to the motor or even the truck it's based on because the rear end of the truck is just uncontrollable and feels like you're driving on ice. Even with a wheel or controller, it doesn't make a difference. I can't really say with the arrow keys because I don't play on keyboard, but for the most part, I feel like it's just the same all around and it's just generally just needs to be fixed. Okay, all right, so uh, this video doesn't really cover everything. What the fuck? I'm take my headphones off, boys. Okay. Man, I gotta stretch. I'm so tired. It's currently like 12.32 in the morning, and it is December 29th, 2020. All right, to start off, I just want to say Merry Christmas. Happy New Year, depending on when this video goes up. 
I mean, you know when I'm reading the script, but I don't know how long it'll be until I get done editing everything. Um, so Merry Christmas, you know, Happy New Year. Um, I, w- I just want to say a couple little things before this video goes over. So yeah, I'm about to get into the outro stuff. <laughs> so to start off, where have I been for the past three weeks? One, I've been catching up on online school and the holidays along with... Um, my new PC, I basically just upgraded everything and threw my 950 into this newer and better PC. And I have been catching up on games due to the bottleneck from my first gen i7 I couldn't play with um, that i7. And if anyone is curious, I don't know really what my upload schedule is. If you want specifics, I'm, like I said, I'm going to try and shoot for three to five videos a month. Um, since we're here, I figured I might as well go over the PC specs. So right now, uh, I'm going to tell you the old ones first, actually. So the first generation i7, a GTX 950, um, 12 gigabytes of DDR3, and no uh, SSD, along with, um, like, it was like a terabyte, but it was like a mechanical hard drive, I think that's what it's called, or whatever. Um, and then I upgraded to, oh yeah, and the power supply was like 350 watt, but nobody cares about that part. Um, and now I got 600 watt power supply, my same 950, a whole new nut motherboard and case, um, a fourth generation i5, which is so much better, um, 16 gigabytes of RAM, I think DDR3 if I had, I'm pretty sure, which is fine, dude. But, uh, outside of that, I hope y'all have a good night, day, evening, you know, well, you know what's up, dude. <laughs> Overall, though, I, I have, I'm having a lot of fun making content, and, you know, whoever's watching, friends, you know, people who find it through related or recommended, I thank you, and I hope you have a nice night.